Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Sports Corner. I'm Art Regner. Time for another video blog, and we're talking about uh, the Tigers' uh, playoff win over the Oakland Athletics 3-1 to tonight at Comerica Park to take a one-game-to-zero lead in their best-of-five series against the Oakland Athletics. It was a great game uh, from a Tiger perspective, especially when you look at the fact that uh, Justin Verlander was a little rusty as the game began, was a little bit wild, uh, gave up a leadoff home run to Coco Crisp, uh, but the Tigers came back in the bottom of the first to tie it up at 1-1, and then as the game went on, Verlander got stronger. He had a great line, seven innings pitched, Three hits, one earned run, uh, walked four because he was a little wild in the beginning, but he had 11 strikeouts, and so uh, JV uh, really showed that uh, uh, why he is considered to be the best pitcher in baseball. Even when he doesn't have it or he starts off slowly, he gets stronger as the game goes on and pitch very, very well. I think the key statistic in this game is that uh, Prince Fielder and Miguel Cabrera were 0 for 7, but the Tigers were able to to win the ball game. Now, I thought that Miggy and Prince both kind of tagged the ball today, but they hit it right at somebody, and so uh, you think it's just, or I do, I think it's just a matter of time before those two uh, get going, and uh, that doesn't bode well for the Oakland Athletics. Another thing that uh, I thought was very promising for the Tigers was tonight their 6, 7, 8, and 9 hitters were combined 4 for 12, with Alex Avila leading the way 2 for 3 along with a home run. Andy Dirks got a hit 1 for 3. Omar Infante was also uh, 1 for 3. So uh, overall, things that didn't happen a whole lot or concerns that we had uh, about uh, the Tigers, the bottom of the order not hitting, really came through for the Tigers today, helped them win the game. And as Justin Verlander, and we've seen this before as he pitched, and kept pitching, uh, he was able to uh, uh, get stronger as the game went on. And I thought it was interesting the uh, commentators on TBS were saying, and something that we've now heard for the last several months, that uh, as Justin Verlander gets stronger, uh, not only is he the best starter in baseball, he's also the best closer in baseball, and in a way he proved it tonight. Now I know Benoit uh, almost gave up the game-tying home run in there in the eighth. There was a, a few anxious moments, but he did get the job done, too. And then uh, Papa Grande, Jose, Jose Valverde, came in and struck out two in the ninth inning to assault the game away for the Tigers. So overall, a really good performance for the Tigers, especially since uh, the Tigers uh, started this game, uh, or this series, pardon me, at home. Uh, whenever you're playing... Uh, uh, at home, uh, the first two games and the last three are in Oakland. It's different this year in the American League playoff series. That uh, 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 does not bode well for a team like the Tigers, who have not been good on the road. They're under 500 on the road. Uh, they're 50 and 31 at home. Now they're 51 and 31. So it was imperative that they win this first game. They had their ace on the mound. Uh, certain things that haven't happened a lot this year with guys on the bottom of the lineup contributing. Everything seemed to fall right for the Tigers, which bodes well for tomorrow afternoon's game with Doug the Fist Fister going uh, on the mound. Uh, just a note about the Oakland Athletics. They had four hits tonight. Uh, they were... Uh, uh, had 15, or pardon me, 14 strikeouts total, and then Jared Parker, their starter, had one really big era, uh, error that uh, led to the uh, uh, to the Tigers uh, uh, getting the go-ahead run there before Avila uh, hit the solo home run to make it three to one. Uh, uh, Quinton Berry, I think you saw what speed can do in this game. I think Jared Parker rushed the ball because he knew uh, Berry was uh, bearing down on first base when he hit the tapper to uh, uh, to Parker. He tried to pick it up. I don't know if Parker thought he was he tried to scoop the ball up and was going to scoop it to the first baseman or try to beat him to the bag, but he got a little bit confused. Barry beat the throw out, and uh, that allowed uh, Omar Infante, I believe, to score uh, and make it 2-1 to one when the game was tied 1-1. So overall, if you really look at it, everything seemed to fall uh, the Tigers' way in Game 1. The uh, bottom of the lineup was good. Uh, Barry showed some speed. Uh, they didn't make any errors, which is huge. Uh, Justin Verlander got stronger as the game went on, and their bullpen with Benoit, even though it was anxious for a moment with Benoit, and then Valverde closing it out, everything was uh, added up to a 3-1 to one Tiger victory. So I think you have to be happy about that. And uh, certainly, with Miggy and Prince being 0-7, for 7, you know that's not going to last very, very long. Uh, I give the Oakland Athletics credit. Uh, they're uh, not... Uh, 
uh, intimidated at all, I didn't think. I thought that they played uh, a very, very well. They're a loose, free-swinging club. I think we saw that, as I said, with the 14 strikeouts. Uh, so Oakland is going to be a tough team to put away. However, uh, if the Tigers uh, can win tomorrow afternoon with Doug Fister, you really do have to like their chances going to Oakland for games 3, 4, and 5 uh, with the Tigers leading two games to none. So as important as today's game was, and it was important, the Tigers needed to get off on the right track, especially with Verlander pitching. Uh, I think tomorrow it's imperative because if there's one thing that still frightens me, even though I do believe that Miggy and Prince are going to start hitting, I think their starting pitching is fine, and if the bottom of the lineup can keep contributing like they did tonight, the Tigers should be okay, but they're not the same team on the road. They're not the same team uh, on the road as they are at Comerica Park, so I think it's imperative that they win tomorrow. But overall, again, the Tigers won the game. They did what they had to do. It may not have been pretty and full of exciting plays and memorable moments, but it's still a 3-1 to win, and in the end, that's all it needed to be, and that's all we'll really remember. So uh, until we meet again tomorrow, uh, when I will uh, talk about Game 2 of the Tigers' uh, playoff series against the Oakland Athletics, I'm Art Regner. Have a safe and pleasant one, everyone. We'll see you. Bye-bye.